you guys are quiet. What's up? <laughs> Sure. Joe, I wanted to ask you about uh, Anthony Farah, who punted for you last year. What's his status with the team? Well, right now, I, but Anthony got himself in a couple of jams, and, I, and he should know better. And uh, We're going to play that by ear. I told him I used to go and sit him out until uh, I'm sure he understands that he's, uh, he's got some responsibilities to himself, his family, and... Uh, and to the squad and to the whole program and hey you know he's a good kid it wasn't anything really serious in the, in the sense that uh, he harmed anybody but he broke a couple of rules and so we we're just going to play that one by ear but uh, he won't you know when he's going to play i honest to goodness couldn't tell you when i'm going to use him watch how he uh, how he does things make sure he's behaving in the whole bit, and then I'll make my mind up. Joe, have you picked a starting quarterback, and uh, will both McGoin and Bolden play on Saturday? <laughs> I did think, I, well, I'm surprised you asked me about the quarterback. I was just kind of surprised. <laughs> uh, both those kids have done really well. They had the, uh, spring practice. They both worked hard this summer, they stayed up here this summer, worked with the guys, and they have had a real good preseason. I... You know, I'm not a guy that likes to play two quarterbacks, but I think we'll we, we'll play both of them. We'll play both, and they're both they're both they're both ready to play, and they're both, as I said, done everything we've asked them to do. I think uh, both of both of them can take a football team and and uh, get us to play about as well as we can play offensively, and so I will we'll, we'll play both. Have there been any other preseason injuries to the team besides your own? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We got a lot of guys, and their injuries are more, uh, have more of an impact, uh, impact on his football team than this guy sitting up here. Uh, well, you know, we, st we still don't have Drake, uh, and they're going to give him some tests on Friday to see whether he can go. Uh, Hales is back. Uh, the two kids, Gilliam and Macero, uh, will not, they won't play this year. They're not going to play this year. So I guess Macero and Gilliam would be the two guys that are definitely out. Uh, as I said, Hales, uh, that they think he's going to make it. Oh, well, he's actually been practicing, although he, he has some restrictions on what he can do. Drake has not done anything yet, except he's out there... Uh, yeah, I run around and do some things, but has not really had any any kind of real football uh, contact or anything like that. And we won't know about him until I think they're going to give him final tests on Friday, and maybe he can start doing some things on Monday. What is it that you see in Bolden and McGloin? What specific area are they doing better than they did last year? Well, they've obviously had more exposure. I think they have a lot more uh, confidence in themselves. Hopefully we're going to be a little better uh, offensively, particularly up front, although I still don't think we're out of the woods yet as far as the depth up front. Uh, you know, I just think the whole uh, grouping offensively is better. Some of the wideouts are... I've had more experience with them. I think they're more confident as to what they see and, and uh, can anticipate cuts. They've got uh, a better feel for uh, uh, the one guy's speed as opposed to the other guy's speed and one guy's uh, idiosyncrasies compared to the others. All of those, there's a lot of little things that go into it. And I think that the, their spring practice and the fact that they worked so many of them worked together this summer. And then obviously, as I said, they've had good preseason. I just think that all of that obviously makes them better. You know, you guys ought to, you know, you look at yourselves and you, you realize when you start as a cub reporter, you got to, you make mistakes, you learn, you adjust, you, you, your choice of words become a little different, the whole bit. 
And I think that's that's pretty true. Of the, of, uh, you know, you got to know what your editors are looking for, what your readers are looking for when you write. These guys have to know what what the whiteouts are going to do. They have to have a feel for their running backs. You know, you just don't hand the ball off. One running back hits that hole a little quicker than an, another one, and you got to have that kind of adjustment. Uh, so I think just being around the people they're going to play with uh, over a period of time has been a big thing because neither one of those kids played in before last year. None, neither, neither one of them. They went in the season, and we struggled, and uh, they were part of the struggle. What was the process of getting him back on the team? Or did, did he have to come to you? Did you talk to him? Uh, well, how, you're talking how about that Green? Green yeah. yeah, I got it. Well, Green had Green had gotten in a couple of uh, situations that uh, some of it academic, some of it otherwise, and and I had told him until I was sure that he was, you know, he understood that he had uh, he had certain responsibilities. I was not going to let him out for football. I wasn't going to let him out on the team. We didn't. We were not going to take his his grant away from him because he can graduate in January and I want to see him graduate. Uh, uh, so he, he went to work and he, he proved to me that he deserves another shot and he's getting another shot. Go ahead, you sound very uh, comfortable and confident with your quarterbacks. Is going into the season now playing both of them. Are you going to now put another deadline at all during the season? How many games before you make a decision or could this could just go like that for a while. I know, I, you know, I, I, you know, you're jumping all over the place. So I just got to answer the question about how do you do you overlook the first game, all right? Did you see? I'm, I'm, we're trying to get zeroed in on, on game number one, Indiana State this week. We're trying to be as good as we possibly can be, all right? Right now. As I said earlier, I think we have two quarterbacks, both of whom have done well, both of whom have made great progress, both of whom I think can 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 get the most out of this football team. Uh, what goes on from there? I am I'm not you know I don't have a crystal ball, or the good Lord doesn't go down and tell me to do this or that. He didn't even tell me to get out of the way of uh, Smith for crying out loud. Get run over by a 160 pound that knocks the devil out of me. So who knows? So I can't answer that question. I don't know. I don't know the answer. All I know is this week I think that both the kids we have have done very well, and they're both going to play, and we'll see what happens from there. Will you be on the sideline for Saturday's game? Well, I'm trying to be. Uh, I've got. Uh, you know, I got some medical people who want, to, want me upstairs, and I want to be downstairs. I, that, that being upstairs for the birds, you know, you can't, uh, you, know, you, you just uh, don't seem to be in it. I like to be on the sideline and get a feel for things and be able to grab a kid and tell him to do certain things. So I'm going to try hard to be on the sideline. It's probably 50-50 whether I'm going to do it this weekend or not.